how insane this is. No, quite literally it is. Because I'm in a foreign country today. That's right. This is no longer bushwalking Victoria. This is bushwalking Netherlands. I'm here at Chalet Helenheville. Sorry for the massacre on the Dutch language, any Dutchies watching out there. So this is the Kapsee Bossen Loop from Dawn. Uh, Dawn as in Game of Thrones Dawn. I know it's Dawn because that's the way the taxi driver pronounced it, even though I'm sure he wouldn't understand where I was talking about had I just picked up that word out of the blue and said, take me to Dawn. All the information boards are in Dutch, so that's really gonna hamper my abilities to give feedback. So we'll be just going all a la natural and uh, coping with my observations as we get around. So this is about a 10K hike. I've been dropped off by the cab, uh, picked up at Utrecht, half an hour drive out here and I've got no idea how I'm going to uh, get back to Utrecht at the end of the day, but uh, that's all part of the adventure. Let's crack in. Boy, I'm getting a wet ass here. I better use this shot future self. For some reason, this scene here, where we've got the clear plane in front of us, and then just a wall of green, from pine and beech trees predominantly, reminds me of the iconic scene at the beginning of Gladiator. Unleash hell, and then the dog takes off the wolf, you know? God, would you look at this forest? It's just so thick and lush. You really, in some areas where the forest just closes in either side of the trail, can't see a meter beyond yourself. No wonder Robin Hood had so much success with the king over here. He would have been buggered in the winter time, but I guess everyone needs to take a bit of time off work occasionally. It's like looking into the gaping moor of a green whale. Nothing but pitch blackness. It's pretty dark even to my eye looking in there. It's about 11 f-stops darker than what it is out here. Anyone in the photo gig will understand what that one's all about. Hopefully there's no gypsies in there. It's quite magnificent in this section of the trail here where I'm surrounded by willow trees. My goodness, how pretty. Sander, I'm not sure what Cyril and Marge were thinking in buying a dairy farm over in Australia, but it certainly wasn't about the aesthetics. Don't get me wrong, Tarang dairying, that's uh, pretty out there too, but this has a certain level of quaintness that uh, I just don't think we can top in Australia. These rhododendrons are out at the moment and they are just spectacular. Shake a boom boom down. Yeah. 
How's the schutzpa of this kid? 4,000 odd steps and he's kicking a soccer ball at the top of the platform. Love it. Beautiful Robin Hood-esque walk this one. These deciduous trees just absolutely make this walk. The foliage cascading and making a full tunnel effect over the pathways is just spectacular and not something you're used to seeing as an Australian, that's for sure. Don't quite know how the walk would uh, rank in the winter time, but anyway, you can only take every walk as you see it, when you see it. One thing I did notice while I was on the walk is that Dutch people are tall. Sorry to swear there, but really just had to get some dramatic effect into that statement because, by God, I had no idea about their vertical elevation. And I'm quite low center of gravity uh, when it comes to status. So I really did feel those tall Dutchies as I crossed them on the pathway and had a bit of a chat. Until next time, get Terry and get outdoors. One thing about the Dutchies is they love their bikes. They just absolutely love them. Here we have an example behind me of a multi-level bike park. That's right, you heard right, a bike park, not a car park. I'd estimate that there's more bikes in the Dutch land than there is dogs, lawn mowers, cars, and possibly even people. Well, here I am like Julia Andrews in the sound of music, spinning around in the middle of Dam Square. A bit more urbanized than what Julia had in the countryside of the Swiss Alps. This was built back in the 17th century and as a gathering place for duchies in Amsterdam. I suppose it's a little bit like Fed Square, only less brown and a bit older by a few centuries. Good dog, Mr. Nitzkins. Feeling very sophisticated right now. Ciao.